Hey there, welcome back. I think I can get some even more interesting footage of bullets skipping off water. The last one with the baby pool was cool. If you haven't seen that yet, which way will the link be? I'll put a link and uh, go up and watch that. There's some really good footage in that video. This time I got the idea of, well, let's get some aquariums. It's gonna be coming in from this direction. I've got that plate so that I can't hit the glass. And then I've got another piece of plate here. So we're going to start out with 22 and we're gonna gradually increase the angle and see when it stops skipping. We're gonna be able to see both above and below. So this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be sweet. surprised if this one skips. Looks like it almost stopped and hit the steel like it would have just you know fallen outside of the tank but i guess i don't know it still goes flying out so i still haven't caught a bullet in the tank I thought I was going to catch that bullet, but I still can't find it. I could see on the high speed it hit the it hit the steel and it came up out of the out of the tank and then I can't find it. I want to catch a bullet down in that tank.
All right, so I still have not caught a bullet. This is shot number 13, which doesn't bode well for that aquarium. If it's gonna break, it's probably gonna be now. gonna do shot 14 as high as I can. I just want to catch it. Were we successful? So there you go. Surprising on the high speed it looks like it's going so slow when it hits the steel but it's still enough to dent it. Okay, now we're going to 9 millimeter. Put that plate right there on top of the aquarium to stop any kick up after it hits the back plate. So let's see if we can catch this nine millimeter round. Well, we caught something. So now I've got a problem. That's my last fish tank. I want to try to skip a 223 round off of it. And if it survives, we're going to try a 50. Which there's no way it will survive. But I'm kind of afraid it won't survive the 223 and then I, I wish I had just done the 50. You know, I guess if the 223 does it in, it's not going to look that much different to have a 50 hit it. Cross your fingers, we're trying the 223.
So I got another aquarium. What do you think happens when you shoot an aquarium full of water lengthwise with a 50 BMG? Well, let's just say I had to get out the first aid kit. I'm posting that video over to my patrons on Patreon and also my contributors on GunStreamer. Come over and check it out. You'll find links in the description, also links for my other channels. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now you know what angle a 22 and a 9 millimeter will skip at. It's pretty interesting to see the differences in the pressure wave based on the angle and how long it tracks along the water. That's the best footage of uh, bullets skipping on water that I can come up with. You'll probably see some more slow-mo stuff in the future along with the, the typical stuff that I do. So we'll see you guys next time.